All right, so. Truth Island. Let's do it. Truth Island. So that was like 104, right? Point one? Oh my god, there's so many more dials to this. Forty point one. Everything becomes a Alpha November Tango India Quebec uniform Echo eventually. Everything becomes an antique eventually. Everything becomes a Alpha November Tango India Quebec uniform Echo eventually. Antique. Everything becomes an antique. Okay. Everything becomes a Alpha. That might be the code word, antique. Oh, 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 I saw you. I saw that. I saw that. Oh my god. The, the Kanaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We, we've been lied to all this time. USS Walter Roy destroyer escort sunk the US Kanaloa on the friendly fire on October 25th, 1943. It had held a development nuclear reactor in its belly and had been sent out weeks earlier as a test as of its capabilities. Relatively few even knew of the existence, which tripled the base's confusion when the submarine's communications had been cut. No one outside of a handful of us would ever know the truth. I would discover later that the weapon technician of the Walter Roy had been a Francis Sattler's wedding. Sattler was an engineer in the Kenaloa. I don't know why, but it's strange to me. Okay. Is there anything more down here, maybe? Phonetic code? You gotta do those Tanga Alpha Ubequitous Elephant Amanda. <laughs> I don't know the phonetic code. Ash does it better than me. Charlie. He's got to do it for his work, like, all the time. What's your vector, Victor? That's right. <laughs> I gotta watch Airplane again. God damn it, Dunk. You make me want to watch movies. Alright. This place is very nice. Watch all the movies. I just recently watched uh, Demolition Man yesterday. Good movie. I hope he uses Elephant and Amanda at his work. He might. See, like, whenever I try to do that, I get confused and I just try to think of the first word that works for it. And I always fuck up. <laughs> and I just look like an idiot afterwards. Which is funny, but, you know. That's, that's how I do. Main Street. Check the map? Okay. Let's check the map. Steal a boat. Oh yeah, island number stations 1401. So there is a station here that we should definitely look at. But in order to get to the Adler, we have to go over here, so. Let's go this way. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? The sun's I out? You said you were going to go swimming anyway. The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now, but... See, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was going to be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? 
Uh, yeah? What is it? Where's... where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? I just... never mind, I guess. Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas, so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex. Relax. We just got here. No, I mean, in this time period. Oh, jeez. You're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? It's like the worst time. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Uh... Yeah, um, it really is kind of... This is going to be sad. Yeah, I'm like, right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. I feel like we should just let this be. Yeah, this is happening. It's definitely happening. Sun's out, gun's out. Or sun's out, bun's out. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins English. Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> Can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So... Uh, <laughs> if I were to ask you if you were, um, past Clarissa, that wouldn't make any sense to you, right? Past Clarissa? Like, like am I past the name Clarissa? Or... I guess I don't understand. Uh, forget it. It's all right. <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I uh, totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh... He loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all Oh my time. lord, she's nice, I know. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. Had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Oh. oh, Jesus, thank God you're back. It's like an eternity sitting here with this one. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, I know what she's talking about. Hey, I'm interesting. I'm entertaining. I'd crush a debutante's ball or whatever. Sure. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... No, thanks. I'll be back. This is so sad. Okay, I'm weird. Here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Um, I missed you. I missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot. That's all. Hey, come on. I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night, <laughs> all the nights. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot. I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so. Thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy-smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Uh, Stick with stick it. Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. 
I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. No Feels way. like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, Bucko. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Is this like a good thing that just happened? Are we gonna like bring back Michael from the dead? Do these time skips? Alex, are you all right? Okay, uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the that last five minutes. That was a nice memory. Do, do, do you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but Jonas, I just saw. I think I just saw my brother. Wait, what? Where? Here? Is he? Did, did you see him somewhere here? Maybe it was. Uh, maybe it was an illusion or something. Mm -hmm. Wait, we don't know that yet. Can you? Can you tell me what happened? Like, what you saw? Like, what did you see exactly? It was a day I can remember, actually, when Michael and I spent a random Saturday on the beach Ghost here. Michael, it was just so sad. unbelievable to see him again. Man, I mean, was it, like, good to... I don't know how to say this without... I guess I just want to make sure you're all right. Are you all right? Uh, it was good to no, see him. it was... It was good to see him. I'm treating it like a, a temporary gift. That's all. That's okay. a good way to think of that. It's a good way to describe that. Little gifts. We've done this one already, right? I think it might be different with this new uh, radio. I wish I knew Morse code. I don't. And then we'll go and see the girl. Yeah. How how many of you oh, yeah. are there? Yeah. We've already done that one. Just want to make sure there was nothing different between this one and the other one. This feels like a ghost moment right here. Like something's going to happen in this area. <sighs> oh, good. You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... Well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, uh, good. Uh, Clarissa's yeah, gone, though. Clarissa's... <sighs> gone though. Clarissa still hasn't turned up? No, she did, but I guess she got like, this is gonna sound insane, but whatever, possessed and got time looped away. Oh, so there's that. What? Where is she? Uh. Clarissa will be fine. She's, she hitchhiked to Mountain View for that concert, remember? This is a little different. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So I really want to do more of these. I want to cover the truth. I don't want to so just are leave. So we're gonna try the gate thing, or? I guess the radio will open this somehow. Hopefully. So one forty point one. Turn on the Lima. India L -I -G Golf G Hotel H Tango T for the ships coming home. Turn, Turn lights. on the Lima. Turn the lights to go home. Tango. There is a light tower over here. Alright, you guys hang tight. I'm gonna turn on the light. Where are you going? I thought we aren't we sticking to the the find the boat and paddle away game plan? Maggie Adler left a bunch of mysterious mystery stuff all over the place, and I'm not leaving until I get my hands on them. <laughs> Seriously? That's like a concern? Okay, but uh, that kind of feels like a morning thing, but sure. Look, I'll just be right back. Can I not go? God, okay, fine. I'll open this stupid gate. All right. <sighs> Wait. Um... Turn on the Lima, India, Golf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Uh, 
for the ships coming. So we just got to find the right frequency. It's one of these. There's so many frequencies. Oh, was that it? Yes! We got it. Cool. Oh, wow. Neat. <sighs> Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's a boat. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. <sighs> there is something up with her. She has this giant house. She's burying like secret messages all over the place. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, and we can leave it to Scrappy Doo or whoever to figure it out. Uh, What's a Scrappy Doo? <laughs> yeah, we could figure it we out could though. Figure it out? Aren't you the least bit curious? There's not going to be a sunken pirate ship at the end of this, Alex. It's just a wrecked submarine. Yeah, and if you're really so anxious, you can come back on your own time. I just want to get home. Ooh, projector. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. She made a lot of, what should I call these, slides? They're reels. not videos. They're film reels. Um... Silent memories? Oh my god, children, your childs! Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a <gasps> chest. chest. All it says. 29, 18, 54. Cool. A chest? Have you seen one yet? Mm, let's just look. Let's just look. It'll probably just be more whatever banking files or something but maybe <sighs> we'll get lucky can't do anything okay oh let me go up here Woo, film rails i know all oh. right oh it's like a it's like a boat that needs keys there are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Huh. Well, uh... What keys? They... They have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. Let's do it. Let's go inside the house. Spooky lady house. Old lady spook it's house! radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That doesn't sound good. These ghost frequencies are creepy. Ugh. Ghost frequencies. That's nice. But um, is a nifty gizmo. Whoa! Look at her house. Finally, Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. You scared me. 
Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. Look, Clarissa's here. So everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. I don't care what she says. Just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, I just might climb through the kitchen window again. Who knows? Okay, we get it. Haha, -ha, carry on. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. I think she's still possessed. She is definitely possessed. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of... Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Wow. God, I hate Clarissa these days. How are you doing? How are you doing? Think Ren secretly hates me since I kind of put my faith in you over him and pressure cooker situations? No, he'll be all right, I can tell. He looks at you like a sister. That doesn't drain easily. Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. <coughs> Bummer. Hmm, okay, let's keep looking. I love how they all just took off and let us look. Start in here. No, nope, nothing in here. Pull string. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. You <laughs> think cat's gonna jump up way up there? Ooh, you know what? This might be the um the chest that takes that combination. Twenty-nine, eighteen. 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. Hmm. You think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Sweet. Great. Perfecto. I don't want to leave though. I want to stay here and keep looking around. I want to know the All right, secret. We got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. What I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Dude, you guys need a kiss and make up. Just, just give each other a little smooch. Uh! Alex. Oh, come oh, on. Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. <laughs> Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Things are different, except in a different way. <laughs> Just come downstairs so we can get started. Ren, are you... Are you all right? We're in a, we're in a time loop thing. Okay, runs down. Nona. Nona, can you, can you hear me? No. These freaking ghosts. Come on, Jonas, up and at him. All right. Then how do you expect me to get out of here if you don't if the door's not opened? Ugh. Ah, there you are. Shit, that's scary. Now me. imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you I'm signed up for this, Alexandra? In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. I'm sorry, okay? How many times do you want me to tell you I'm sorry? I didn't know what would happen. You have nothing to apologize for. Trust us on that. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house. You will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as your mother's apple pie. What is it? 
with you guys and all the, the See all those games. Like doctors, ghosts? Children, just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. And now, let's start with the softball. I spy with my little eye radiation. Radiation? Of course the time will appear. So Radiation? Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry, child. You weren't even close. Nona! Nona! Look at that. The little one's up and hit the silk. Bring her back! Now! Oh, I'm sorry, dear. What's done is done, as they say. If you'd paid attention, you'd have noticed the television set right by my side, the little X-ray emitting death machine. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation. <laughs> <laughs> Other sense. Pay attention. I spy. With my little eye, a notch. That's my best little heart. Uh, is it the, the this painting? It looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round out, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The, the picture of, of, I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Anna. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing, well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and well, oh shit, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. Okay. It just takes a little time and a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so the sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Wait, what? What happens to them after you uh. absorbed? Their form will exist with us inside. It will be a swap, you see, of essences, I guess you could call them. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You had your time. There to be another way. I mean, just maybe, I mean, maybe I can do something with the radio. We never had our time that was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. You don't know what it's been like, but how could you? What you're doing is wrong, and you know that. Any integrity we once had drowned in the reef ages ago. This is so crazy. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. Okay. So what am I supposed to do now? To defeat all the ghosts before dawn. I got that part. Deer? Michael should go to school. Don't influence Michael. Tell Michael, Michael he should go to school here. Okay, who are you? Okay, seriously, who are you? Dear. Upstairs. No? Oh, I see it. 
it's sort of hiding. So we can go on. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick.